everyone, Luna Lore here. Throughout time, man has created devious and terrifying torture methods to get back at their enemies. From being put in a bowl to having your breasts nearly ripped off if you were thought to be a witch or cheating on your man in layman terms. I mean, sure, we still have violent things happening today, but you don't see people losing their thumbs or legs or being skinned alive if they steal a piece of bread. In this list, we're going to take a look at the top 10 terrifying torture methods from history. So, for the time, this is a very tame torture device, but still awful if you think about it. In this torture device, there are many variations on it. The thumb screw or pillow wings all functions the same. They were designed to slowly crush not only the fingers and toes, and larger devices were also used to crush knees and elbows. There was also a head crusher, which could do the same for heads. Primarily, the intention was to extract confessions for the victims, and it was first used in medieval times. <laughs> Number 9 on this list is the Spanish donkey, one of the torture devices used during the Spanish Inquisition. This is probably one of the most gruesome of them all. The victim is put astride naked on a donkey-like apparatus, which is actually a vertical wooden board with a sharp V wedge on top of it. After that, the torturer would add verifying weights to the victim's feet until finally the wedge sliced through the victim's body. Terrifying way to die, right? Number 8 on this list is the head crusher. The head crusher was widely used during most of the Middle Ages, especially the Inquisition. With the chin placed over the bottom bar and the head under the upper cap, the torturer slowly turned the screw, pressing the bar against the cap. This resulted in the head being slowly compressed. First, the teeth are shattered into the jaw. Then the victim slowly died with an agonizing pain, but not before his eyes were squeezed from his sockets. This instrument was a formable way to extract confessions from a victim as a period of pain could be prolonged for many hours if the torturer chose so. This could be done by repeatedly turning the screws both ways. If the torturer would stop midway, the victim often had irreplaceable damage done to the brain, jaw, or eyes. Many variations of this instrument existed, some that small containers in front of the eyes to receive them as they fell out of their sockets. Number seven on this list is impalement. Given the name, it should come to no surprise that this was the most favored method of execution by Vlad the Impaler in 15th century Romania. The victim was forced to sit on a sharp, thick pole. When the pole was then raised upright, the victim was left to slide down the pole with their own weight. It could take the victim three days to die using this method, and it has been said that Vlad once did this to 20,000 people, all while enjoying a meal. Number 6. The Brazen Bull, also known as the Sicilian Bull. It was designed in ancient Greece. A solid piece of brass was cached with a door on the side that could be opened and latched. The victim would be placed inside the bull and a fire set underneath it. The metal became literally yellow as it was heated. The victim would slowly be roasted to death, all while screaming in agonizing pain. The bull was purposely designed to amplify these screams and make them sound like the bellowing of a bull. That's an intense way to go. <laughs> Number 5. The Breast Ripper This one always pains me to talk about. The women were always subjected to many of the torture techniques listed on this category. This is one that was specifically designed for them, used to cause major blood loss. The claws, which were often red hot, would be placed on the exposed breast as spikes penetrated beneath the skin. It would then be pulled or jerked, causing large chunks of flesh to come off with it. God damn, that is so terrible. <laughs> Number four, the Chinese torture chair. I mean, god damn you guys, look at this thing, it just looks like a beast. But it was used to interrogate the ill fate in the 19th century China. This blade-lidden chair would provide a slow and painful death to anyone strapped to it. Luckily, experts now believe that it is more likely presented as a symbol of power rather than a utensil of death. Jeez. <laughs> 
Number three, execution by quartering, likely one of the most painful and brutal forms of execution of its time. Being hung, drawn, and quartered was invented in the year 1241 in order to punish a pirate by the name of William Maurice. Unlike most other forms of execution and torture, the hanging, drawing, and quartering method was not held back from being performed on royalty or peasants alike. In other words, it did not matter your social or economic standing. This method could be used on anyone. Usually, this form of execution was used on prisoners convicted of treason. It was reserved to the most hated of criminals, as it was easily the most sadistic and barbaric form of execution ever invented. Number two, Ling Chi. Ling Chi, or known as execution by slow cutting, was practiced in China until it was outlawed in 1905. Also known as a death by a thousand cuts, the executioner's task was to make as many cuts possible without killing the victim. In the execution, the criminal is slowly cut in the arms, legs, and chest until finally they are beheaded or stabbed in the heart. Many Western accounts of the execution method are largely exaggerated, with some claiming that the execution could take days to perform. This horrendously cruel tortured towards the victim since they have to go through a slow death which makes the slow slicing particularly horrific is that it continued into the 20th century era that is the era of photography anyways this form of execution was reserved for the most serious of crimes such as treason killing one's parents mass murder or murdering one's master one reason of cutting the body into pieces even after death and met the victims would not be whole in the spiritual afterlife so this punishment was for both this life and the next ling chi was one of the ultimate forms of the five punishments the penal scale of increasing severity these dated back to ancient china included a large range of punishments such as flogging amputation of the nose or feet, banishment, tattooing, or fines, or castration. Number one, the pair of anguish. And why it takes the cake is because this could be used on men, women, and any age from 18 to 80. And it was used on people who conducted miscarriages, liars, blasphemers, and homosexuals. A pear-shaped instrument was inserted into one of the victim's orifices. The vagina for women, the anus for homosexuals, and the mouth for liars and blasphemers. The instrument consisted of four levels that slowly separated from each other. As the torturer turned the screw at the top, it was the torturer's decision to simply tear the skin or expand the pear to its maximum and mutilate the victim. The pair of anguish was usually very adorned to differentiate between the anal, vagina, and oral pairs. They also varied in size accordingly to the torture you wanted to inflict. This torture method very rarely provoked death, but was often followed by other torture methods. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my take on 10 terrifying torture devices from history. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!